Hi everybody, this is Donna again with another Thrift Haul. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. My uh, The name of my channel is Restore Glory. If you haven't done so already, please do hit that subscribe button. If you're just kind of sort of cruising the internet and you happen to run across my channel, I uh, provide content for, um, for to, to resell. And essentially my items that I look for specifically are vintage, mid-century modern, retro, bohemian, some antiques. And uh, if that's the type of haul that you like to see, then please hit that like and subscribe button so that when I upload videos, you'll be notified uh, and look at all this wonderful, yummy, uh, amazing, amazing items that I have been picking up over the last couple of weeks. So thank you guys again so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. So this is another thrift haul. Let me see if I can remember. So most of these items came from Second Avenue thrift store. And um, there may be some Goodwill items in here and I know them by the tag. So if it's a Goodwill item, I'll let you know. For the most part, I really do think I found some really cool items. I really, really, really do. I cannot stay away from Christmas stuff. I don't know why, but Christmas does really, really well for me. So I always have to pick it up. If it's something fun and interesting and unique looking, I have to pick it up. So what can you do? All right, guys, so I'm trying to figure out which side do I want to start on. I think I'm going to start on this side. Yeah, I think I'm going to start on this side. So the first item I'm going to show you is pretty cool, right? Um, the camera may not be picking up the color, but it's kind of sort of like this peach color. It's almost like it's, um, how do I put it? It's almost like a peach milk glass color. It's a little small boudoir uh, uh, lamp, and it has kind of sort of like an art deco feel. I think it does. Um, but the color is amazing. Again, the camera may not be picking up. I paid $4.99 for this item. And I did, here's the cord. It has a nice vintage cloth coil cord. And here's the, the plug. And I thought this was super duper cool. Obviously, I was going to pick it up. Um, did I plug this in? I don't even know if I plugged it in or not, guys. I can't tell, tell a lie. I don't think I did. But anyway, I just love this Art Deco vibe it has to it. I thought it was so cute. I do really well with boudoir lamps. Um, uh, I just do. I, I sell them and uh, they sell like hotcakes. So um, uh, this one will probably be no exception. It's a little dusty. There aren't any visible chips or cracks that I could tell. And I think this, um, is this depression glass? I don't know, guys. But doesn't it doesn't have like an Art Deco feel to it, I think. But I think it's... um. I think it's like this, well not think, it is a peach color, but I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what type of glass this is. So if you guys know, please enlighten me and I can do my research and I can price it accordingly. All right, so that's that. I gotta reach over so my, my head may get into the camera. The next item I'm gonna show you is, I um, have so many coasters, I just really do. And they sell, they're easy to, they're easy to ship this one is, I'm not even going to begin to try to even pronounce that, but let me just show you that it is made in Germany. I paid $3.99 and they are 24% lead crystal. I'm just going to show you one of them. It's a set of four and they are new in box. The labels are still on them. Look at that little yumminess. It says uh, handmade lead crystal. 24% made in Western Germany. Oops. And it is a set of, I want to say it's a set of four in this box. Just make sure I'm telling you right. A set of six, actually. I have to count. I'm not really sure. I didn't check the box. But it has all this wonderful, I guess, German writing on it. And when I did some preliminary research on this, I want to say these did relatively well. I want to say about $18 to $25 um, sold. So I think they'll do fine. Coasters make good gifts, and particularly the vintage ones, they make good gifts. So I would probably do well with that. The next item, how much did I pay for this baby? $1.99. Who knows why I picked it up? Um, but it was cute. It was interesting. There's a label on it, guys. Honestly, I cannot read that little small label. I tried. I'm going to try to get my magnifying glass. I want to say it looks like it's made in Hungary. That's what I think it says. But it doesn't have a clabber. 
there's not even a space for it to put the clabber. So I don't know if this is some type of hand painted made in Hungary cloche. I'm not really sure, but I just thought it was super cute. And um, yeah, not really sure, but I picked it up. The next item I'm gonna show you is just a little small cute planner. I paid $1.99 for it from Second Avenue. And of course he's cute. Hello, isn't he adorable for $1.99? Little planter, that's that. Staying with the smalls, another little small uh, item. This one, I wanna say it's like a little mini gourd, right? And I believe this is an owl. Right? Yeah, there's a hole in the top. I'm not sure exactly what that's for, but I took the price tag off, guys. I have no idea what I paid for this, but it is beautiful. And of course, I was gonna pick it up. People love owls, and this one will probably do very, very well. I didn't look this one up, so I have no idea what the value of this. All right, guys, sorry about that. I did not put my phone on Do Not Disturb, and my brother-in-law called because I was actually looking for my sister. She wasn't picking up her phone. I've been calling her for two days and she wasn't picking up her phone. So I just wanted to check in and make sure all was well. And he's at work and he said, no, she's good. She just doesn't, you know, notice that her phone is ringing. So anyway, it's always good to check on family. Anyway, everything is well. Thank you uh, guys for hanging in there and sorry for that interruption. So continuing on with the haul, I don't even remember where I left off. I think the last thing I showed you guys was this wonderful little mini gourd owl. So that's that. The next item I'm going to show you is a Fitz and Floyd gotta love Fitz and Floyd 1986 10 ounce mug and this is completely adorable it is a beautiful pink dinosaur on one side and a blue dinosaur on the other side it is in excellent condition no chips no cracks and again this is 1996 Fitz and Floyd and how can you pass up uh, a let me fix this because it's blowing this out I don't want to blow out the items. It's not about me, it's about the items. All right, there you go. So anyway, it is um, Fitz and Floyd, very beautiful mug. And I do, real well, well, you can't help it with the mugs. This one was only, I want to say it was only like 99 cent, but they're easy to pack, they're easy to ship. The subject matter is always cute. You know that people love dinosaurs. Well, I know that people love dinosaurs. So this one will probably do well. All right, the next item I want to show you, I paid 99 cents for that, as you can see. I'm going to take this off. It is Tweety Bird. It is a shaker. I think it's a salt, it's a, it's a shaker, right? There was some salt in it. That's what I started to say. But anyway, it is so adorably cute. It is Tweety Bird. Looks like he's sitting on top of a bird cage and it appears to be in excellent condition. I think this is just like a little branch that he's on, I guess, but I can't tell. But nonetheless, it does say um, 2002 Gibson China and it's in excellent condition guys I don't see any chips or cracks I know that Tweety Bird is a good subject matter for people so uh, I picked him up because of course it's Tweety why not pick up Tweety all right the next item I'm trying to do this in order the next item is a set of Fragonard I paid $3.99 for a set of four let me just show you that and I'm going to show you the label so you guys can be on the lookout for Fragonard, right? It's a set of four. I'm just, just going to call them little um, salad, not even salad, guys. Appetizer, appetizer plates. So this Fragonard brand, let me just show it to you very slowly. Fragonard. And I believe, no, they're not Poland. Anyway, these little plates do very, very well, right? So let me gonna show you each one of them. So that's that one. Very cute. Little appetizer plates. Here's another one. Right? Don't make a mess, Donna. And then this one, love this one. Isn't that adorable? Yeah, these little plates do really well. Sorry for the click clanging of the glasses. And then the last one is this one. And it's so funny because when I I uh, pulled these, I went back, I don't know, like a week later, later, and I saw another set of four, and I decided, nah, I don't need them, it's no big deal. 
But then I realized that these things do sell really, really well. And I wish I had picked up the other set too. So it's all good. I, I'm glad I got those. And I think they will, excuse me, I think they will absolutely do well. The next set I'm going to show you is a set of copper. I'm going to take, they, this, these came in little baggies that they have along the wall. These is, this is a set of um, string lights. And I'm just going to show you these. These are like little copper um, butterflies and they do light up. I put some batteries in these babies and they do work. And uh, they're so adorable. And here's a little case you put the batteries in, but they're so cute. So I just picked those up. I think I took the price off, but they were probably like, I don't know, probably like $2.99 if I remember correctly. So those will probably do well. Let me just show you one of them. Right? So those I picked up. The next item staying in the copper family. Um, these I paid, was it $3.99 a piece or for two? I think I paid $3.99 a piece for these. Anyway, let me show you the bottom. I can show you both of them. But anyway, they are uh, Gregorian Made in USA Solid Copper. Let me just show you the label. These little copper bowls. And I have a set of two. I think I paid $3.99 a piece for these. I have two. But in excellent condition and very, uh, very pretty. Copper is very collectible and you know, people love copper. They fit in uh, a modern decor and even in a vintage decor, but I thought I, I thought these were lovely and I have two of them. But like I said, I think I paid $3.99 for two. So these are Gregorian copper blue bowls. All right, that's that. Um, the next item I'm gonna show you are two little mugs, again with mugs, Donna. Uh, let me just show you the bottom. Uh, and I did look these up. Um, I will see if I can put the name of these in the description here, but don't pass these up. When you guys see the signature, do not pass them up because these little mugs, they look kind of sort of nondescript. They're not a full, I want to say probably like maybe eight ounce, no, not, not eight ounce. They're probably like maybe six ounce, little small mugs, but these mugs do really, really well with this, with this, uh, signature, right? Um, Let's see, let me think about this for a second, guys. It's been a minute. I want to say, yeah, let me let me look them up and then I'll, I'll I'll be sure. But these mugs right here do really, really well. And I think I paid, I don't remember what I paid because I took the price tags off. But nonetheless, remember to look for this particular signature. And uh, what I'm going to do, I will put a screenshot of If I can find these like I did before when I did my uh, preliminary research, I will let you guys know. Um, the name of this brand so you guys can be on the lookout for those. All right, so that's that. The next item is another Pier 1. Gotta love Pier 1. Um, this is, I paid $1.99. It is a Pier 1. It's just a little carrot uh, a plate, a little uh, carrot dish that is. Perfect for the fall, maybe the spring, maybe for uh, the summer. But I just thought it was completely cute. And it was only $1.99, so why not? This beautiful carrot. All right, that's that. The next item I'm going to show you, is this Pier 1? Nah, this is false graph. Let me show you that. It's a trivet, right? It is a ceramic trivet, and it's perfect for the summer with these beautiful shells. And that's just some, some residue some, from the sticker. But for the most part, this is an excellent, excellent condition. No chips, no cracks. It's a little dirty. I got to clean it up a little bit to get that, that uh, blue residue off. But it is awesome. Isn't that awesome? Perfect for the you know, your uh, ocean or beach or cottage, uh, beach cottage decor, this little trivet. I love the colors. And again, this is false graph. So I don't remember what I paid for because I took the tag off. All right, the next item I'm gonna show you on this side of the table is, I paid $5.99 for this. I paid up for it, but I think I'll do okay with this. This is a Alice in Wonderland anniversary edition by Phil Cardu, right? It's a, it's a, it's just a little tray, and it has Alice in Wonderland and all of her Wonder Wonderland friends, and it's a Phil Cardu, C-A-R-D-E-W. So if you find Phil Cardu pieces, whether it's a teapot or a mug or plates, pick them up. Do your comps on them because they do very, very well. This plate does okay. I want to say that when I looked this up initially, I want to say this plate goes for about eighteen to twenty dollars. 
So, um, but the Alice in Wonderland theme and Phil Cardew, the ceramic uh, items do do very well depending on what type of item it is. So, sorry about that light, but I'm sure you guys can see Alice having, you know, a little time with her friends. All right, that's that. All right, so I'm gonna switch gears and go to this side. So, I'm gonna get to that last, cause that's a lot. All right, so I keep finding these cornucopia type of um, um, candle holders. So these are absolutely gorgeous, right? I have a set of two, as you can see. I paid $4.99 for a set of two. And I love, love, love that chartreuse color. I believe it's chartreuse. It looks like chartreuse to me. I don't know who made them, but that's the bottom. But they are absolutely in good condition. No chips, no cracks. And I think these would look lovely in a spring home decor. Sometimes you could just, if this had some of uh, those acrylic candles in it, wouldn't that be awesome? Man, you're talking about glassy babies. I don't even care about the glassy babies. I just want to find a whole box of acrylic candles. That's what I want to find. That's my next thing. Now, I, I spoke it into existence when I said the next thing I want to find is a glassy baby. And I found one about a month ago. Now, the next thing I want to find is a whole box of a colored acrylic candles. That's what I want to find. That's the next thing I want to find. So, you know, I'm just saying. All right. Sorry about this clean clanging. The next item, I just picked it up. I don't know why, because I, 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 I have a ton of these. It's just like a little silver um, candle holder with a, uh, a, a deer or a steer, whatever you want to call it. But he is so heavy. Good grief. There's no maker's mark on the bottom. But I have, a, I have a few of these for my own personal Christmas decor. So I may just keep this just for my own personal Christmas decor because I like them. All right, that's that. Let's see, let me show you this one. The next item, hold on one second, is a, it's not a fairy lamp. I was about to say fairy lamp, but it's not. It's just like a little uh, night lamp and it's, it's a turtle, right? And he's a little dusty. I gotta clean off his shell, but his light does work. I plugged him in and he does work. And uh, I think I paid, I wanna say it was $7, $6.99 for this. So I paid up a little bit, but hey, when I did the comps on uh, something similar to these little, uh, the, I'm gonna say about 35, about 25 to $35 that these sold. So yes, he's a little dusty, I'll clean him off, but here's the, the inside, but he definitely does work. I always wanted to put like maybe an amber color, one of those lights in there and he would just glow lovely, but it's like a little night light. And people love turtles and he is absolutely heavy. I'm gonna take this off. He is heavy. Uh, he's made out of some type of cast iron. So this is definitely not cheap. I don't know who the manufacturer is. The label is off. It does have that 01, I'm sorry, 0198. I have no idea. I looked on this thing as careful as I could and I did not see any, uh, any manufacturer's uh, name on it. So anyway, I thought this was super cool and he will probably do well. I think I sold one of these two once before, so it, sh it should probably be fine. All right, so I'm switching gears. All right, so the next item I'm gonna show you guys, um, you know that I have been collecting the Tiki mugs, right? I have maybe a around 11 now, which is great. I have around 11, but this one I think is gonna, be, this one is a little special, right? Um, it is this, this beautiful Hawaiian girl surfing the waves. And I think this one is really special. I don't know. This only paid a dollar ninety nine. What is sinuses? Oh, a dollar ninety nine. But I think this one would do really well. I want to say I saw some souls hovering around twenty eight dollars. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit more research on this, but I think she's a little special. And <clears throat> excuse me, the pollen is kicking in. Um, but I think she'll do fine. But this definitely is a. Uh, a tiki mug that I think will do fine. There's a little bit of a, I gotta clean it out a little bit, but I think this one will do pretty fine. No marks on the bottom, but I found this on eBay and I think this one will probably do fine. All right, the next one, cute alert, cute alert, cute alert. <laughs> Let me just show you the bottom. It says Samson imported 1981. I'm gonna show you the bottom, right? Hello, it's like a planter. And he is adorable. I gotta turn my light around, guys, so you can see this one. 
Isn't that so cute? I know it's going to blow it out just a little bit, but maybe if I pull it back, you guys can see how adorably cute he is. He is in excellent condition. As far as I can tell, guys, no chips, no cracks. He's a planter. I paid $2.99 for him. And he's adorable. He is that one eye up. <laughs> he is so cute. Excellent, excellent condition, guys. Like, excellent condition. I don't see any chips, any cracks at all. Um, a few, uh, it is definitely a little bit of crazing, but for the most part, he is an excellent. There's a little chip, I just noticed, a little chip on his hat that's right there. And I'll note that in a listing, but his little bandana. Isn't he adorable? So cute. All right, so the next thing is something Christmas. Christmas alert, Christmas alert. I cannot stay away from Christmas. So I found two of these, and I believe they are Home Co., right? I'm going to show you the bottom. Uh, bear with me. Home Co. Made in, made in Taiwan, right? And it's this uh, ceramic, I guess, bisque Santa. Now, this particular Santa has a, a bag full of gifts, and a little teddy bear, right? Actually, and it's a bank. I, look, I just realized it was a bank. Hello, duh. It's a bank. Hello, hence the stopper. Keep up, Don. Uh, it's a bank, right? So actually, I have two of them. Are they the same? They are the same. I don't know why I thought they were different. But anyway, I have two of them. Well, yeah. Yeah, he has a little candy. Is that a candy cane? No, it's not. He has a bear. That's right. I don't know why I thought they were different, but they're the same. So I have two Home Co. Santa Banks, and they are just completely, completely adorable. Can't stay away from the Christmas. I love the Christmas. Who doesn't love the Christmas? All right, so that's that. The next item I'm going to show you guys is a beautiful, I'm not sure the man, the maker, but it's this beautiful amber colored, excuse me, whew, amber colored uh, dish with the handle. And it's gorgeous. Love, love, love that color. Not sure what I paid for it. My light is actually acting a little wonky now, guys, but I'm trying my best. So you guys can see, of course I need to clean it. But anyway, I want to say that I only paid like, it almost like it has like a little amber and amberina in it too. I know the camera's not going to pick it up, but looking at this light here, it definitely looks like it has a little bit of amberina, orange and red. So anyway, that's that. Uh, let me put that there. The next item I got from Goodwill, and it was two. So one was 99 cents, and the other one, I don't remember. But anyway, it's a little small um, bowl in this beautiful um, green color. This was 99 cents. And then the larger bowl, isn't that stunningly beautiful green color? In excellent condition, no chips, no cracks. So this will be great for... Uh, for any, it could be good for Christmas, but it also can be good for the spring. For your home decor for the spring, right? I totally love those two. So I, I think the little bowl was 99 cents, and I think the larger bowl was probably like a dollar and 99. So of course I bought them all. So that is that. I believe that is everything. Oh, one more thing down here. Now this one, actually, guys, you know I've said it a million times. My daughter is going to University of Maryland, and she's taking animal science. She loves horses, right? And, you know, I, I, I try very, very hard to resist giving her anything that's related to horses because she loves it. Um, but this one I think I'm going to sell. It's a Hobby Lobby piece. It's a... Uh, it's a... Um, like almost like when you hang your coats. I'm, I'm, I, I'm at a loss for words. Let me just show you. Uh, first of all, let me just show you the horse. It's made out of like a little resin, a little hard resin. And it says cowgirl. But I think it's like a, one of those things you put like in your hallway and you can kind of hang up your, your doodads, hang up your coat or hang up your little doodads. It's like a, a little hanging. But as you can see, the label, it, it was $34.99 at Hobby Lobby. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for it. 
I really do not. But it has these little cowboy boots, right? Isn't that adorable? I just love it. But I'm going to resist trying to give this to her because she has enough horse stuff in her in her dorm room. So she's actually uh, home for the summer and she has a job working at a, um, uh, an animal, not a clinic, an animal, I, I can't think of the name, but she starts on Monday, which is great. So that's a good thing. All right, guys, so the final item I'm going to show you is a set of um, uh, doll furniture. And um, let me just show you the box that they came in. They came in these little tubs, right? And so they were $5.99, I think, a piece. So I have two of two of these bins. So, um, and doll furniture does really, really well for me. If you kind of sort of light it up a little bit and, um, and sell it as a lot, it will do very, very well. So I don't think these are any exceptions. So the first one I'm gonna show you is just the box itself. I'm not gonna pull everything out, but I have a whole box of these antique, um, vintage, if you will, dollhouse furniture, right? And so these smell, I'm just going to be honest, they smell super duper like old and old. And um, so I don't, I just, I'm going to keep it, leave it at that. So here's a little table, right? I'm just going to show you a few items. Here is a, um, like a little cupboard. Isn't that awesome? And then this one, this one really stinks. Sorry. Look at that. I think this dude. This one may not be as old because it has a barcode on it. It was just in the box, but it's like a another little cabinet. So that's just uh, unfinished. So. And again, I'm just going to sell these as a lot. I'm pretty sure they'll do well. So whoever um, donated these to the Goodwill, they took uh, a careful um, time to wrap them up. Like here's a little small table. Here's like a little baby cradle. Um, this one I thought was pretty cool. Look at this one, guys. This is like a, a, a grandfather clock. You guys see that? Um, this is like a, I want to say it's like a baby chair, right? I'm not going to show you everything. Here's like a rocking chair. Look at that. Let's see what else some other neat things in here. This one, I want to say this is something that, you know, when you, when you grind your coffee, I think that's that. And then the other one is just like little mini, these look like little ornaments now that I'm looking at them. I think they're like more so ornaments because they have this little hook on them. So they may just be ornaments that I'm not thinking about it. But some of the stuff is furniture. And then finally, this one is a, uh, this one definitely is a, uh, a child rocker for sure. All right? And you can definitely tell this one is definitely quality made. I think so. And um, yep, so that's that. So that was that whole lot. And like I said, I think what I'm going to end up doing for both of these is just sell everything, sell it as a lot, there are plenty of people who collect um, um, who who collect dollhouse furniture. Not collect it, but they need dollhouse furniture for their dollhouse collection. So I'm pretty sure these would do well. Again, $5.99 for all of this, and I'm just going to sell it as a lot. Now, this next set of miniature furniture, I'm going to I'm going to say, um, I think these are pretty amazing, actually. And I'll just show you the bottom of the bigger table. It's like a big round table. It says. Mr. and Mrs. Harry Hildreth, handcrafted in Westland, Michigan. I don't know if you guys know that, because if you do, please do let me know. You see this table? It's like a little, this is like some type of velvet velour. And there's like a little picture that goes on the table, which came off. So it came with this table that, this is like some type of wrought iron design. So it, this was in the box. And then it came with all of these. This is a rocking chair, look at that. Isn't that adorable? And I think there's a set of one, two, there are two rocking chairs. Can you see that? And then, um, hold on a second. And then for the table, there's a set of one, two, three, four chairs like this. These are, I guess, just for the table, right? 
completely adorable. And then it's this big, large chair, like a big grandfather rocking chair. This one is huge. Looks like a little rocking chair. And then it has this little, um, little stool, right? So all of these, uh, all of these pieces, I don't know what, six or seven pieces, maybe more, eight pieces, um, came in the box. And this was $5.99 as well. So anybody, I'm thinking maybe Victorian, maybe, maybe Victorian. Um, and let me show you the little picture. Hold on a second. You guys probably won't be able to see that, but this is the picture that goes on the table. So it just kind of sort of came off. I, I would just have to put some glue or whatever, but I think this, this originally, sorry, maybe it didn't. Now that I think about it, maybe it didn't go on the table. I'm sorry, maybe it didn't. I don't know, it was in the box. I thought it went on the table, but I'm thinking that someone who collects, who's putting together a Victorian style dollhouse will probably appreciate this beautiful cranberry red, um, color decor with these kind of wrought iron um, design. I just thought it was super cool. So I grabbed them for $5.99, right? So why not? So anybody that's a dollhouse collector will probably do well, do well with those. So I tried to do some research on this Hildreth, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Um, uh, Harry Hildreth. Let me show you that label again in case you guys know anything about the Hildreths. Um, but nothing came up. I looked up Hildreth. I said, Western Michigan. Um, it says 1973. So they are definitely vintage, right? So, but nothing came up on this type of dollhouse furniture at all. So I just didn't want to spend a lot of time on it. And I decided just to keep it moving. But I think that's everything guys with this particular haul. I really do. Kind of excited. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, Restore Glory, thank you so much. If there's anything, guys, that you see before I get this listed, I'll put all of my information down in the description below. So please do let me let me know if there's anything that you see that you uh, you just have to have. And I'm happy to work, uh, work out um, an arrangement with you. But thank you again for stopping by my channel. I appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Smooches!